Hi there, I'm Adam Farrell and welcome to the next in our series of short videos bringing marketing advice to small business owners and today I want to talk about the development of a relationship between you and your prospect after you've made that initial generation of leads or they've subscribed to your social media feeds or, or anything where you've got over that hump where they now recognise you as a potential solution for whatever issue that they've got. Now, what you need to start doing here in this space is adding value to the relationship and understanding the client's issues from their perspective. There isn't, this isn't about necessarily selling to them, it's about introducing um, solutions to their issues that may or may not be um, specifically pertinent to the way that your product does it, but it shows understanding and it shows empathy over their situation. And in terms of adding value, it's about um, ensuring that the client uh, or the prospect as they are at that particular time really gets a good sense of what it's like to work with you, what um, the outcome will be when they buy product or buy service from you, what you're like to work with. Um, your values, your beliefs, um, all of the things that are important to, to create trust and to build a relationship. And that adding value piece is incredibly important. And if you want to see it done really well, although I wouldn't advocate you necessarily do this for yourself, then I'd look to shopping channels. Um, if you ever go on to QVC and you're, do you know what, we've probably all done it during the night after the pub, and you're sitting there and you switch on, the minute you switch on, they've generated the leads. You are listening to their marketing or sales materials. But what they are able to do during that five minute, 10 minute slot is to create a need. Make you think that you've got saggy abs. Make you think that you're not cleaning your kitchen properly if you don't use a steam cleaner. Make you think that you need a really gaudy piece of onyx jewelry that's uh, in, in 12, garret, uh, you know, 12 karat gold. When you sit down, you don't know that you need these things, but over the five minutes or so that they have you on screen, they ensure that they add the value. They sure that they make sure that they really ingrain the benefits. They ingrain the outcomes. They make it look brilliant on somebody's hand. They show you how incredibly easy it is to use. They make it aspirational. Even something like steam cleaning your kitchen, they add an aspirational um, element to it. So I'm not advocating that you do that with your clients, but I am advocating that you have a listen and you look at the kind of things that they say, because those are the ways that you can build the value of your product before you start to actually ask for the sale. And that's the other thing that they do really well. These guys who are sales professionals masquerading as TV presenters, they're incredibly good at bridging that point of building value to converting that value into sales. And we'll talk about sales conversion and marketing conversion at a later date. So when you're building value with your clients, post the lead generation and pre the conversion into a sales lead, you need to look at what they need from their point of view, understand their issue and show them you, that you understand the problems and issue you, they're facing and start to build value. And that can be done through a multitude of different media, but it really always needs to be done from the client's perspective. Thanks very much for listening and I hope that you've found this useful. Um, if you have any issues that you'd like us to cover in these short videos, then please tag us below or send me a message if you'd like it to remain confidential. And we will get to it in the next few days and we'll answer it for you, um, hopefully um, to your satisfaction. Um, if there's anything else you would like to talk to me about, then please use the usual methods to get in contact. Thank you very much indeed for listening and uh, we look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care.